Hey artists, good to see you again. Welcome back for another art class. Now this one's going to be really fun. We studied already another artist, Lydia Garcia. So you got to see her and her artwork. Um, we talked about ex voto paintings already. So you've learned about paintings that show how to give thanks um, or ask for protection, um, maybe even have a prayer or a blessing on the back of it for the person who buys the painting. So those are uh, a traditional Hispanic art form. And so I wanted you to learn about that. But for us, we're going to do it a little differently, but we're going to make it our own. We're going to use that idea of ex voto giving thanks. Um, and we're going to think of a specific time that we needed help, we needed protection, and we were able to get that from someone. It could be mom, it could be dad, it could have been a neighbor. Someone helped you, and that's what we're going to use for our inspiration for our artwork. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to draw a person because you're going to need to draw yourself. You're going to need to draw this other person that has been helping you or has been there for you and sort of show uh, the event or show what they've done for you in your artwork. So we're going to go over that in a minute. So just like we try to always keep it really easy, really simple for supplies so that we know you have them at home, paper, a pencil, and a black marker, and then all you need is something to add color with. So no big deal on that. It could be markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have, um, just so that you can add color to your beautiful artwork that you're about to make. We're gonna create it like a drawing, just because I know that you all have these materials at home. When we get back to the art room, yeah, we're gonna break out those paints, we're gonna get rolling, but today I just wanna make sure everyone has these materials. So we're gonna start with a drawing in the ex voto style. Ex voto, what does that mean again? Oh yeah, to give thanks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with creating, just like in those examples, I'm gonna create a box and you can create your box about this size. No big deal, something around there. I'm gonna go around this with the black marker so you can really see what I'm talking about here. Okay, and then you know what else we're gonna create? We're gonna create another box because below this, this is where I'm gonna write a little story, a little something about this person that I'm so thankful for, this person that has been there for me, um, this person who has done something really special for me. I'm gonna make a box here because that's where I'm gonna write my little story about this person. Okay, so a lot of times people get a little um, crazy about drawing people. Okay, so people, they want to draw stick people and make it really simple. We're going to make it really easy, but it's going to look way better than stick people. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at ourselves in our Zoom screens. Yeah, we got to stand up because we need to look at our bodies. So we're going to do that first. All right, so now we're sitting back down. You got to see how the body looks when you're standing up when you're moving a certain way, um, think about your story that you're gonna create and what you were doing in it. Were you sitting or were you standing? Were you running? I don't know, but that's how you're gonna be creating your body. So let's do some examples on how to draw a really simple human body because you're gonna need to draw you and you're gonna need to draw whoever this is about. Okay, just like last time, we're going to talk about that word symmetry, which is when something's the same on both sides. Because with your body, yeah, it's going to have symmetry because you have an arm on both sides, right? You got a leg on both sides. So you're going to have a symmetrical body. So easy ways to do this. So I'm going to take my the shape of my head here. I'm going to do an oval. Okay, so I've got an oval shape here. I need a neck, so 
sometimes we forget about those and we really need those. That's kind of important. So I'm going to make a neck. All right. And now a trick. It's always good to have tricks. You can always use your pencil to measure things. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to measure the, the width of my head. Okay. So right there. Now to know how big your shoulders should be. And you can always adjust this. Like if you have a wider uh, shoulder area, then you can make it wider. If you're really thin and really small, you can make it smaller. But basically, you would take that and double it. So I would put this lot. So I have this is my width. Now this is the middle of my body where my finger fingernail is. So I need to make it the size of the width of my head. So width of my head right here, I'm going to double that. So one, two. Okay. And if I want to just mark that where those are going to go, it will make the width of my shoulders pretty accurate. So I've got my head. I've got one, two. Okay. That gives me the width of my shoulders, which would look basically something like this. All right, and we're not getting too worked up here. We're just doing the outline of our body. Okay, so then I can add this down here. I can start to add my arms. I can add the inside of my body. Okay, so let's say right in here, the inside of my body, I can create my shirt. And then instead of making a stick person, let's create actual arms. Okay, so actual arms coming down. Now, depending on what you're doing with your body, I'm gonna just do one that's pretty basically kind of standing. So I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna bring legs down, okay. And then the hands, okay, so your thumbs are towards your body and then you can add your fingers, add your four fingers, okay. Thumbs towards your body add your four fingers okay and I'm, we're going to just make it nothing crazy here that thumb looks very short let me lengthen that up that's why we go with a pencil first right so you can always change it then okay so then i'll go over these lines but i'm just doing four fingers it's hard to do with the marker but you get the idea okay four fingers thumb connect okay and I'm going to bring this part in. So I have the top of sort of the chest area here. And then I'm going to create legs coming down. Okay. Now you could be wearing a skirt. You could be wearing uh, pants, whatever you think here. And then we need to add our neck, top of our shirt. You know, something like that. Okay. So that way we have a figure rather than just a stick body. And then we need some hair. So... Um, just like before, you could just outline your hair. Now, we do have the top of our head line there, but that's okay. You're going to color that in. So, I'm just outlining it, and then I can just color that in as I go. And you can create your face, your expression. We've been doing lots of portraits, so I feel like we're in good, good shape about that. All right, so let's do it again. So, my portrait, I have... Um, I have a female here, but I'm also going to make the person that whoever I'm very grateful for, thankful for, I'm going to put over here, okay? And so let's have another oval for the head, okay? And then if I measure it about that wide, so I'm going to go right about there, and then... Right about somewhere around there. That just tells me about where the shoulders are. Okay, and then I have a neck. And then my shoulders are going to be about that wide. So I can erase those. That was just telling me about where my shoulders were going to end. And then instead of doing the circle head at the top, let's do it like we've been doing with the hair. So let's say I'm just going to outline the hair. Okay. You know how we've been doing all these outlines instead of doing the whole circle. All right, so I'll outline it in marker so you can see that. Okay, 
And then I have my neck, shoulders, okay. I have my arms coming down. Okay, and then I need to make the chest. I need to make the top of my um, shirt. I need to create hands. Thumb near the body. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to make legs. Okay. Super simple way to make figures. Now your figures, I don't know what they're doing. Um, mine, is, mine are just standing here because I wanted to just show you how to draw them. But your figures are going to be part of your story of how you are thankful for this person. Okay, so make sure you're showing that in how you're drawing it. And then in here, we're going to write our story about what happened, why you're thankful, um, and sort of explain your thanks, because this is an ex voto drawing, why you're thankful for this person. Okay, so I'm very excited to see what you come up with. Let's get going. Okay, so then once you have your two figures on there, um, most likely it's two because you're making this about someone you're grateful for. I have my two people. So I have me and the person who was helping me. And so I wrote on the bottom, you are always there to help me when I need it. I am so thankful for you. And so I want you to think about how to describe how you're feeling about this person, how you're thankful. You could tell a story about it. You could explain the whole thing if you want. Um, so this part here is for you. And then um, the other thing you can think about is background. So where were you when this was happening? Um, you can create that background behind. So one easy way to do that is to create your, it's called a horizon line. So this is the line that separates basically the sky from the ground. Okay, so that's one way to create your background. But then what's going to be up in the sky? We need to be able to tell that this is a sky. So you could create maybe some clouds up there so we know, oh, that's the sky. And it will also make more sense once we add some color up there too, obviously. So you could have your cloud. Maybe you have like a sun peeking through the cloud up there. This is if you're outside. You don't have to be outside. Um, maybe if you're outside, you have some grass, maybe you have some flowers. Okay, so you decide where you are and create that background in there. Okay, um, that will be your next step. And then always for fun, the next step will be color. So start thinking about how you can add your color, how you can make these really pop. Um, think about skin tone like we did last time with the crayons. You can layer to create your exact skin tone. Think about all the colors that you're going to need to make this picture really come alive and really stand out. All right. Good luck, everyone. All right, everybody. I hope you had such a great time making your ex voto drawings inspired by Lydia Garcia um, and lots of other wonderful Hispanic artists that we looked at. Um, one thing to keep in mind is a way to, if you're feeling a little stressed out, one way that you can help yourself is thinking about something that you are grateful for. Gets your brain in a nice state of mind. You start to relax, start to think about what you can be grateful for, what you have in your life. So this is a nice way to set yourself thinking positive and feeling grateful for what you have. So I hope that helped and I can't wait to see what you created. Be sure to send me some pictures, maybe through Dojo or definitely bring them to the Dropbox at school. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day.